I want to thank Dana and Doc for being here tonight, for sharing Franco with us for the last 50 years. Franco brought us joy for 50 years. So this is the lobby of the Embassy Suites in Pittsburgh, and it is absolutely gorgeous. Like, wow. I'm a sucker for old architecture. This is just absolutely gorgeous. This must be where they have their like restaurant. Ollie's. Oh, this might be where they have like breakfast breakfast. Yep, there's the buffet and everything. Got a nice little sitting area right here. I'm guessing like for waiting for your room and then they got like a business center thing over there. Funky chairs. Oh, that must be where they have the, um, like little market shop. Mm-hmm. It's a big elevator area. Like, whoa. Oh, it used to be a bank? Yes. Interesting. There's some cool artwork in the hallways. Whoa. All right. Got a whole little kitchenette here. Got a view. We're on the 21st floor. Wow, look at that view. <laughs> this bathroom. This is the Embassy Suites in downtown Pittsburgh. Wow. Let's check out the bedroom. So we got a king bed and more windows here. Got a beautiful view. Oh, you can see the Monongahela lift way over there. That right there, that's the, the lift to the top of the mountain. Wow. So this is our room. A nice room actually, I'm impressed. Hello 
beautiful people welcome back to my channel so I have a very special episode for you today it's Christmas Eve and as you can see I am decked out in my Steeler uh, Jersey because we are going to the Steeler game today versus the Raiders so we are actually in Pittsburgh I'm super excited um, my dad's gonna meet us and we're gonna walk around Pittsburgh a little bit so I'm gonna show you a little bit of the city um, our room is absolutely gorgeous let me show you the view that we have in our in our room so we're on the 21st floor and it is just absolutely stunning up here and it just snowed like a couple days ago so we are just super pumped there's a Christmas market over there that we're gonna go to so I'm excited to go over to the Christmas market and then over here it's still the same view over there but over here you can see the Monongahela incline right there and the Monongahela Incline is literally only like $4 to ride it up and down round trip. So yeah, this is our view. In Pittsburgh, we're in downtown. We're at the Embassy Suites in downtown Pittsburgh. So I'm super excited to show you around. And of course, I'm going to take you to the game with me. So we're going to have a lot of fun there. So yeah, hope you guys have fun. I don't know if you can see this, but my phone is showing Pittsburgh is nine degrees right now, which means when the sun goes down, it's only going to get colder. All right, we're walking in downtown Pittsburgh. We're just going to the Target right there on the corner. Got to get some provisions. All right, honey, let's go. So it's like nine degrees walking downtown. That's cool looking. Yeah, that's the target that we went into. Super, super small. So we just got here to where the Christmas market is and they are closed. I mean, it is Christmas Eve, so I'm not surprised. But they got all kinds of places to eat. They got the Permani Brothers over here, which is where we're gonna try to get some food. And as you can see, we're all bundled up because it's super cold, super duper cold. So we're gonna try and get some food and then explore a little bit more. We made it into the Permani Brothers. Thank you. the menu. Game, you come to Permani Brothers, so we just finished eating Permani Brothers, and now we're gonna head back to the hotel. Now we're gonna head back to the hotel and wait for my dad to come get us so we can go to the stadium and make it to the game on time. And now it's oh my god, it's snowing! Yeah, it's really cold, so yeah, I'm trying to gonna try to stay warm. But this is where the Christmas market was. Unfortunately, it's closed today, probably because of the cold weather. But normally, this is where it is. We could probably go. I just wanted to get some.
saw the embassy that we're staying in. I think it was a bank originally because there's like a bank safe vault there. Alright, the rally house. Get all your Pittsburgh gear. The memorial for Franco Harris. Oh man, it is so cold.
heroes serve. Miracles happen. Here, men and women, big and small, form a family. Here, the standard is the standard. Here, we are men of steel.
Don Cole, Frank Lewis, Jerry Mullins, Barry. I want to thank Dana and Doc for being here tonight, for sharing Franco with us for the last 50 years. It's been said, life will bring you sorrow, but it's up to us to bring you the joy. Franco brought us joy for 50 years. So in recognition of his many contributions, both on and off the field, it's my honor to declare number 32 is officially retired. I want to present this number 32 jersey to Dana and Doc. Please turn your attention to the video board as we celebrate Franco Harris. 22 seconds remaining. And Bradshaw back and looking again. Bradshaw running out of the pocket, looking for somebody to throw to, fires it downfield. And there's a collision. Everything went through Franco. Okay? Not through the quarterback. Well, I'm handing off and I'm watching and I'm going, God, this guy's special. He starts. You can see him kind of dance around the and then he'd be gone. He is a consummate team player. It wasn't about how many yards he gained. All he cared about was winning. Some guys are just big game performers, and that, that was Frank. When the game's on the line, this guy was going to show up. Frank was a great teammate. He, in his mind, could see us getting to that point. And that kind of really spurred the team's success. Giving the ball to Frank goes through the middle, down over the 15 to 10 to 5. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. They opened it up down the middle, and the big guy went straight ahead through the hole. This was the team that I belonged to. A team that will live forever. It is truly immeasurable and certainly unforgettable. Good luck. God bless. Thank you very much. Franco Harris. Congratulations to our number 32, Franco Harris.
Hey guys, so if you're a football fan, then you know that Pittsburgh pulled a win at the very last minute of the game. Great ending to a game, um, especially since this is my second time going to a game and this is the second time they've won. They haven't had a great season, but I'm just glad we had a good outcome of this game. As you can see around my face, it's a little red. It was very, very cold at this game. I think it was at one point like in the negative or something like that. It was a, it was very cold, um, but it was worth staying and watching the team play. This, the crowd was just amazing. And I got some, you know, I just, it was a lot of good energy. So I really enjoyed myself at the game. Um, I always enjoy myself at a Pittsburgh game because it's always fun to be around fans of the same sport, you know. This was the 50th anniversary of the Immaculate Reception with Franco Harris, who sadly passed away just three days before they were gonna retire his jersey and honor him at the game. They still honored him at the game, and it was a beautiful ceremony. They brought out the team from 72 when um, he caught this, this ball and won the game. So it was really still, it was still very beautiful. So rest in peace, Franco Harris. The team won this game for you. I hope you guys enjoyed walking around with me for Pittsburgh for the day. I got a little bit of Pittsburgh in the background, as you can see. Um, it was a very cold day, but we made it happen and we had a lot of fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed walking around Pittsburgh with me today. I hope you have a fabulous day wherever you are in the world. Don't forget to smile today. Uh, it's also Christmas, so Merry Christmas! Happy Holidays wherever you are if you celebrate Christmas. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!